Hello my fellow riders, today we're going to be talking about how you can get a little bit more torque out your Yamazaki F-Series, so that's the F50, the F30 and the F66. Now this will not increase the speed of your motorcycle but it will help you a little bit going up and down those hills. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, get a little bit more torque out your Yamazaki F30, F50 and F60. This won't work on the Yamazaki RE120, uh, RE50 because it has already been done from the factory. So these bikes will go at 30 miles an hour but what you will find is in fourth gear when you're riding along the flat you'll find that it slows down a little bit just because uh, it, the power of the output of the engine can't sustain the amount of torque uh, that's required to keep the miles per hour up so what we're going to do today we're going to change the sprocket on the front of the Yamazaki from a 13 tooth to a 12 tooth now for this you will need a 12 tooth sprocket a 12 tooth retainer and some five mil screws. Uh, the ones that come on the Yamazaki are different retainers and different screws, so you won't be able to reuse those ones. Now, this will make quite a big difference to your motorcycle, but as I said, it will not increase the speed. So the th first thing you've got to do is remove the chain. So you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. So hopefully you can see just here, there's a little split link. So you need to remove that. Move the split link. Remove that. Push them out. And the chain separates. Make sure you don't lose those parts because they're a bit of a pain to get separately. So undo the nuts. Uh, trick on this one is stick it into first gear because then it won't spin. So as you can see, there is a difference in the two sprockets and these have uh, M6 nuts on them. These ones have M5s. But there you go, one tooth. Put on the sprocket, put on the retainer. And remember, when you uh, are putting anything like this on, always use Loctite. You can't really get a lot of torque onto these bolts, so you want something to stop them from vibrating loose. It only takes a little bit. This is a little bit fiddly. You do it up tight enough, you don't want to round off the top of the heads. Again, make sure you do the bolt on the other one. There will be a link in the description for all the uh, all the things you need. And we'll get them off a of CMPO. So that's tight. So then put the chain back on. Come to the back. And what you should find on this is when you put the chain back on, it should be 
slack. And when you take and chain off, just do it all in reverse and make sure that that clip is on the outside. And so also another thing to remember is, so when you're going along, the wheel will be spinning this way. So this lug here, you want to make sure that the open bit is facing forward that way so that the rotation, if it does hit something further along, which it shouldn't happen, but just in case it doesn't hit the end of this pin and knock it off and then your chain comes off and you don't want that. So just make sure that the open part is facing the opposite direction to what the wheel will be turning. So this one, when it is going forward, motion of the ground will be coming this way. So you are going anti-clockwise. Undo the back wheel. On this bike in particular, it's a 17 and a 19. Loosen off the retaining bolt on both sides. And then tighten the wheel, half turn, half turn, half turn. So that's three. Check the tension. So it needs one more, I think. And take that off. So that's about right. Put one more on this side. Check and count the amount of um, on here. You'll see there's marks. So this one's the second one in. Check on this side. Make sure it's the same. So that is. Uh, the second one in. Almost, this one needs a bit more. Tighten the back wheel back up. So just tighten that the other remaining, the locking nut on the back. So when you are doing this at home, you probably haven't got a torque wrench, but I'm gonna do it with a torque wrench. We set the uh, rear spindle to 84 Newton meters of torque. I need a uh, extension bar. It's not going to let me get in there with a torque bar on this one. So, all you do is do it as tight as you can with a standard spanner like that. If you've got one that's about this long, don't do it as tight as you can because you might snap it. But with that, there's nobody that can put too much pressure on it that is going to snap it. So, yeah. 
That's it. Now this, um, this will make the bike. So what it does in theory is it reduces the size of this sprocket in entirety, which means that the rotation of the engine is torqued rather than speed. But with this one, you can't get up to that, that top speed anyway, so it doesn't make any difference to you. Um, yeah, but this will help you on the hills. There's a hill up the road, um, and if this bike is hot, when you do take it up there, it will do 24 miles an hour by the time you get to the top. Now, if you do this, you're going to get a couple more miles per hour at the top. So, as I said, it won't help with top end speed, but it will help with getting up the hills, which is the main issue with a 50cc. Hopefully this has helped you out and hopefully uh, you're going to be able to do this on your F50, F60 or F30. Remember, make sure you lock tight these because if they come off then potentially your sprocket can come off and then your chain's going to come off and it's going to be a bad day for everybody. So make sure you do this correctly. Make sure you use lock tight and make sure they are tight but try not to round off the heads here. Um, I will be getting some more screws for this because this one's... These ones are ones that I found in my pot. But they don't take any lateral um, tension because that's what this... Well, they take lateral tension, but they don't take any back and forth tension. That's what that retainer's for. But anyway. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's taught you a little bit about how to uh, get a little bit more torque out of your... F series motorcycle. Now remember I have over 300 videos on many different to motorbike related topics on my channel so please go ahead and have a look at those. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all my latest content but as always ride safe.